Hey everyone, it's a nice overcast day. I'm going to show you how I make a lazy but expensive version of 511 mix. So I've already measured out this perlite. Big bag of this perlite cost around $40 to $50. It's pretty much a number three size. I already measured out the potting mix here, which has some perlite in it. Not the best quality. You can see it's pretty dusty. Um, this Repti bark is already the proper size. Look at the perlite dust. You want to do this outside because you shouldn't really breathe this in. Uh, forgot my bag of lime. Got some uh, flying dragon seeds started here. There's the lime. Okay. Make sure you have all your ingredients so you're not walking back and forth like I am. Okay, so. Oh yeah, let me grab the fertilizer as well. So the 501 recipes I've looked at, I don't recall seeing uh, recall seeing any fertilizer. I'm sure people add it. So this Repti Bark bag goes for 30 bucks. This is the larger size. It's almost a cubic foot. Whatever that means. So that was the fifth and last gallon and now I'm gonna figure out how much lime I need. I have this rake tool. Yeah so the coarse perlite is a little dusty. It's not that awful but you really don't want that much fine particles because it'll clog up the mix. But this isn't that bad I'm sure it'll be okay. So just giving it a uh, good mix with this rake tool. So you don't want to go in here with bare hands. I like to live dangerously, and I did, and uh, ended up cutting myself. So that's about a gallon. I believe with seven parts in here, yeah, roughly you're going to make six, seven gallons. It does kind of compact a little bit. So it won't be exactly seven. Also, I kind of measured in the most laziest way. Yeah, so don't go in here barehanded unless you like cuts and scrapes on your fingers. All right, so I believe uh, for this amount of mix, six, seven gallons, we're going to add two scoops per gallon. The scooper the Osmocote brings, I believe, is two tablespoons. I can already feel the smoke coming out of my ears from doing this math. The scoop that came with the Osmocote is three tablespoons. So I have to add four of these. Just doing two for now. I did the other two off camera when I realized my math was completely off. <laughs> If only there was a simpler system to measure things. If only. Yeah, so it says the scooper is three tablespoons. I originally thought it was two tablespoons. I'm actually running out of the Osmocote, so I'm just going to add as much as I can while staying under that ratio. You don't want to go over and burn your plants. Even though it's slow release, I'm not sure that'll happen. I already water my plants with a diluted complete fertilizer, so it should be okay. Just adding the rest here. All right, here's the last scoop. Just remember to read the instructions, whichever product you end up going with. Back to mixing. being brave again here using my bare hands don't do this wear gloves at least so I'm gonna put the lid on and just shake it up okay so here's my three gallon container
should be able to fill this one up nicely with an entire three gallon container amount left over for another plant. Figure out what we're going to put in here. I have a few seedlings in the greenhouse as well as a kumquat that I grew from seeds and while it's three plants that I've bound together hoping to fuse the trunks. If you recall over the winter my original kumquat plant died but I was able to save some seeds and had those started already. Yep. So I have enough for another three gallon pot. Looks pretty good. As I mentioned earlier, the perlite was a bit dusty. I could have rinsed it, but it, you know, the whole purpose of this video is to show how lazy I made this mix. <laughs> but yeah, it should be okay. Like I said, it's not that much. I've seen way worse. And yep, yeah, here is a Palestinian lime that I decided to put into a one gallon pot. Might use that as a rootstock, it's a seedling. This is the kumquat I was telling you about. It's three plants in one. And I've uh, scored the trunks and got them lined up, put uh, some grafting tape as tight as possible, and then put a bread tie on it. So with that being said, I hope you learned something from this and you can improve upon my mistakes. Good luck making your mix. Some bonus footage of my cat. He found a little patch of catnip growing under this mulberry tree which by the way is not doing too good, didn't come out of dormancy yet, and some of the upper branches are dead. I did transplant this because it was too close to the swimming pool, and I thought the roots might damage the liner underneath. But if it dies, you know, it's a mulberry, they're fast growing, I could always replace it. Not too crazy about the fruit, they're really small, but this tree is apparently a dwarf, not sure if that's true, if it's like a marketing gimmick, but yeah, I'm here for it, so if it survives, it survives. Well, as always, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.